all you Facebook people. Here I am with Doris Wagner, and we are at the Global Sphere Center right by the Prayer Tower. And I know some of you are probably popping on, and Doris and I are just wanting to talk here a little bit with you about what we have coming up in August. It's August 11th and 12th here in Corinth, Texas at the Global Spheres Center. We're having Engage 2017, and it's Strategic Level Warfare Prayer for Social Transformation. Mm -hmm. And so Doris is, is, is a pioneer in spiritual warfare. And you and Cindy did amazing things. And Peter, in the 90s, and you and Peter, you know, you were the mother and father of the prayer movement and the spiritual warfare movement in the 90s. And what is, what's your favorite testimony of some of the things that you guys saw, like in Argentina? Oh, gracious, that would take hours to talk <laughs> about. But let me just say this stuff works. If you do the research, mm -hmm. if you find the entry points and find out how Satan gained the foothold, he can be destroyed. He can be pushed back and free up souls to come into the kingdom. There were, in this tiny town, let me just tell you one thing, there was a tiny group of 1,500 believers when we first went to this terrible town of Resistencia in Argentina in 1991. And now today, I just a couple of uh, months ago, spoke with a leader of the largest church in that city and where there were 1,500 in various small churches all through the city, he now leads one church of 40,000. <laughs> so this, let me just say, this stuff works. There's been an incredible move when people were swept into the kingdom and it was just, it, let me just say, come and gain tools and do some, go out and do some transformation. It was so deep on Peter's and my heart, and Peter wrote about it, and he sent me to do the work. <laughs> but let me just be a testimony, it works. It really works. Come and get the tools you need to go out and do something magnificent in your kingdom. I especially appeal to intercessors, because this is where it begins. God shows you things that he doesn't show to other people. So if you know intercessors who are called to really intercede for their city that they would be saved, they will gain tools to help them toward that end. That's right, and Doris is gonna share some, and Cindy will be sharing, Lance Walno and myself, and so we're so excited about this upcoming event. Guys, prayers, prayer does work, and we had the privilege of running with Peter and Doris in the prayer movement in the 90s, and we were we did some prayer assignments together, <laughs> and so we were we were definitely in the trenches together, and we just seen God do amazing things throughout the world. And you know, what Doris was even sharing earlier at lunch today, there was a group that tried to reinitiate, yes. even like all these years later, twenty six years later, this occult yes. like belief and practice. And I mean, it, well, it's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's like God wouldn't let them reinitiate it. Let them. And you, do you want to share that story real quick? Well, one of the main uh, spiritual entities that we were dealing with was a cult that worshiped death. Mm -hmm. It was called San La Muerte. There was a high priestess at that particular time, and we prayed that this that this evil spirit would uh, would be would be trodden down. That the Lord would do away with it and push it back and out of that territory. And the high priestess, when we were st still back in 1991, she was smoking a cigarette mm -hmm. in bed and she caught the mattress on fire and three things in her inflammable home. I mean, it was, it was a mud hut. Nothing would burn in it, but three things did. Her mattress, her body, and across the room, several, 10 feet away, 12 feet away, was a statue to St. Death. Wow. And those three things only burned up. The cult was tried to be uh, reinitiated a few months back. Well, I think it was two years ago back now. And I spoke to the pastor of the largest church there. And he said there were three men in a building. And they were trying to strategize on how to bring this back. And for no reason at all, the roof suddenly caved in and all three perished. And we never pray for anybody no. to die no. or to be killed, but God is the judge. And so 
things are still happening. And spiritual warfare, let me just say, it works. It works. It works. So we look forward to seeing you August 11th and 12th. Corinth, yes. Texas. Yes. And Engage 2017. Strategic Level Warfare for Social Transformation. Go to ChristianHarvestintl.org to register. You're going to have an awesome time. You're going to leave with instruction and impartation of how to bring transformation to the Seven Mountains and to your city and region. We'll see you all then. Yes. Bye. Bye. God bless you. <laughs>